Good morning, everybody. Um, so this is a question that I've been having a good old think about, and I thought that I would just share my thoughts on it this morning. Um, it's something that I've, I feel like God's been speaking to me about a bit, and my thoughts um, have probably been evolving and changing quite a lot. And maybe it's just me. Maybe it's for more than just me. Maybe it's for a few of us or more than a few of us. So um, I feel like God's given me a picture about um, this kind of journey on what is church. And um, the beginning of that journey starts in a waiting room. So in my mind's eye, I saw a picture of a waiting room and um, I was there in the waiting room. And um, that waiting room is really funny because before Christmas, we were thinking about what our next series for Shine should be. And we really felt that it would be great to cover Acts and the early church and what the early church looked like. So into my little suitcase here in my waiting room, um, I've got different things going in. So our first week in Shine that after Christmas in January was about um, church is about a family. It's, it's a family. It's not about um, the building. We talked a lot about that. Um, it's about God's family. We talked about um, we are global and we're city wide, that we church is wider than just our, you know, church community. It goes wider than that. We talked about um, down here about how we are one body, but we've all got many different parts to play, many different gifts to share. Um, and also about how we're creative, how each of us is creative and has creative roles within that. So I feel like that was kind of my waiting room bit. And it was really funny that that was all um, being almost like preparing us during January and February for what was to come. We didn't know what was to come. And within the first week of lockdown, um, my daughter Mana said, oh, mummy, isn't it really funny that in Shine we had been talking about and learning about how church isn't about the building. It's about being a family and being community outside of the building. And now look, we um, don't have a building, we can't meet in the building. And I was like, yeah, that's really funny, Mana. And it, it, it was, I mean, that was in God's kindness. That was God's kindness, um, giving us the heads up for that and just, you know, giving us some tools for that. So following on from there, when I've, we've been in this waiting room, we've had a bit of preparation. Um, my journey kind of followed round to this bit, I guess, that we're in at the moment of our journey where actually we can't meet. And so just questioning, like, what is church then? So these four characteristics, actually, Deb White, this time last year, um, had felt that God was talking to her about what um, for like the characteristics of shine, but wider than that, I guess, um, were. And she had got these four things of worship, learning together, encountering God together and community. And um, those were just really clear and really helpful at the time to um, think about actually what was, you know, what what was shine and what did God want from shine and what were we focusing on? But actually coming out of being able to meet together in a building, those four things to me have just been so important. And um, our time together outside of meeting in the building have these things have just been so key, worshipping together, the importance of worshipping together on Thursday evenings and at Shine and wider than that, learning together and growing together and building, you know, our roots just growing deep, encountering God together, so important. And, you know, it's happening throughout the week and it's happening on Sundays and Thursdays. And then this community, and we're not just talking about community within City Life or within Shine, we're talking about the wider community, all of these different things that are going on, the projects that are going on, you know, the soup runs that are happening, the Amber stuff, Paul's things that are going on, um, us meeting with, you know, being able to support neighbours and friends and patients in hospital, looking outside of our own um, community to be able to help and be effective and God working through that. So those are the four characteristics. And then following on, I've just got a big question mark here because you know, we're beginning to think about what does church look like, you know, following on from this and, and heading back and what things are we planning on, you know, stopping and what things are we wanting to continue. And as I've been thinking about that, you know, those four things for me have just been so key and we've seen those things happening. We've seen those things, we've seen us growing together. Um, and I just wanted to read from Acts 
in Acts 2, it's talking about the early church. It says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. And those are things that we've been doing as a church, aren't they? Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. And we've been seeing things like that. I know, you know, my experiences from the children at Shine is that we're seeing those signs and wonders, some of those things coming. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. And we've been seeing that, haven't we? Within the church, being able to share things and help out people that um, in our wider than our communities that we can help out. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who are being saved and that's our prayer isn't it that from this um we can just see more and more people come to know Jesus um so yeah I just wanted to share that this morning really about church and thoughts on church and um just be encouraged uh that yeah God is doing something quite special during this time and um yeah just have a blessed day Bye.